Hey guys, happy Friday. It's the third time I've gone live this week. <sighs> wow, it's been an exciting week. I've had so much to tell you and so much to show you. I was hoping to have my second order, <laughs> my other order of stuff um, today here by the time we went live, but I don't know, like I think it's not coming till Monday, which really puts a wrench throw monkey wrench in my plans. I had some design work I was going to do this weekend. <sighs> I'm sure they were overwhelmed over there with all the orders. All right, well, I see you guys jumping on. Good. Today, we're going to do the Forever Fern bundle. Let me just share this over to my page. And done. All right. So um, today, Forever Fern. Do you guys have it? Did you order it? I think I told you guys the other day that I, um, this was real popular on the pre-order. Demonstrators get to order a month early. It's one of the perks of, of being a demonstrator. Um, and so this was one of the things we could order. And I was just like, meh. But other people were excited about it. I thought, huh, I don't know. What, what am I missing? Well, I ordered it and I have played with it the most. Out of everything that I ordered on my pre-order, it's my absolute favorite, which you would think is kind of weird because it's just greenery, right? It's just stems and leaves, but it's awesome. Um, I really like it a lot. I think you will like it too. So we're gonna make three cards with that today. We made one, um, what was it, Wednesday. So if you didn't see the one on Wednesday, on Wednesday's Live, you can go back and see that. Um, I believe I uploaded that video to my blog on Wednesday so you can go see that make sure you check it out okay all right so while we wait for um, everybody to join I want to make sure you guys stopped by my blog yesterday for the all-star tutorial world of good blog hop here's my world of good card um, this suite is gorgeous it's masculine kind of has a masculine feel oh Christine says forever friend is her favorite bundle well it's definitely become my favorite too um, I'm glad you like it um, but the world of good is kind of a masculine suite and it's good for travel um, it's, I feel like it's kind of sophisticated if you will uh, so the all-star tutorial bundle is the tutorial I do every month with 11 other demonstrators from around the world we all pick a suite of products um, and we each make a tutorial with it. So this month, that's the one we picked, World of Good. And um, the PDF is amazing. Uh, we did the blog hop yesterday to just kind of introduce everybody to the PDF. It's 77 pages, I think, of, <laughs> I can't show you like this, it's hard, of awesome tutorials. Here they all are, right here, sneak peeks. And mine this month is a little suitcase gift card holder. It's very cute. Um, it holds a gift card. So if you're interested in that, make sure, I think at the bottom of today's blog post, has anybody checked, did my post go up for Facebook Friday? Let me know. Um, Susan, you get it every month, good. Um, you can scroll down the bottom of today's post and click the link under that photo. It'll take you to yesterday's post or maybe it'll take you over to my PDF store. I don't know. Anyway, you get it for free if you spend $50 with me through stampinup.com. Um, I just emailed them out this afternoon for everybody who's ordered since the first. Um, I do that about once a week. Uh, so if you order and you don't get it immediately, just be patient with me. Um, you get it for free uh, with a $50 order. If you are a demonstrator yourself or you have a demonstrator and you don't wanna order from me, it's also available in my PDF store for $15. Now we do these in, um, subscription periods and this is the last month of this subscription period so we're starting a new one in July and you'll be able to subscribe to it if you like to buy the PDFs um, if you don't earn them for free and you buy them from the PDF store if you subscribe to them then you get the sixth one for free I we did five months this last time I think we're going back to six months um, I can't remember the reason why we did that. But anyway, next, the next six months, we are stepping it up and every tutorial, every month, will also have a link to a video. Um, so it's really a, a huge value, this PDF. Um, so make sure you check it out if you like, especially that World of Good Suite, 77 pages of tutorials. All right, all right, let's see, where can I stack this? Um, what else do I wanna tell you? 
Um, okay, do you guys, did you hear that there's extra Stampin' Rewards? Um, if you, I always, I always stumble over how to word this. Any order, any order over $250 earns an extra $25 in Stampin' Rewards. Stampin' Rewards are in the back of your catalog page, let me look, page 187. And it's gonna be backwards, I know. Um, if you look in your catalog, 187. Stampin' Re Rewards used to be called Host Rewards and it was the free stuff you'd get when people ordered at your workshop, which is still what it is. It just has a new name. But it sometimes people put in big orders online themselves. Um, and you will earn those Stampin' Rewards as soon as your order hits $150. And they increase as you go up. So at um, $250, you usually earn $25 in Stampin' Rewards. Well, right now, during June, you're getting an additional $25. So if you spend $250, you're actually gonna get $50 to spend. And it's immediate, you spend it on that order. You get to go and pick out $50 worth of stuff right then on that order. Um, it's not like a coupon they're gonna mail you and you have to order later. It's part of your order. They say, okay, now you've got $50 in Stampin' Rewards and you go through and claim the things you want for that $50. So I just wanted to let you know that that's that. If your order is close, you're gonna wanna bump it. Or maybe if you have a friend, you combine your orders and then you both would get, you know, Stampin' Rewards, you could split them. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. It's exciting. If you are a demonstrator, your demonstrator orders, same thing. There's lots of perks. When you become a demonstrator, you get your discount, but you also earn Stampin' Rewards on all your orders too as long as they're over $150. So it's awesome. It's fun. It's like free stuff, free stuff, free money. Okay, so I wanted to let you know about that. The other promotion during June is the Pick a Free Bundle Starter Kit. Um, <laughs> enabler, sorry, guilty. Um, oh, you were, <laughs> Christine said she was resisting the Boho Indigo product medley, but your unboxing did it for you. You're welcome. I know, I have it sitting on the back counter and I cannot wait to play with it, but I have several things I have to design and get ready before I can just play. <sighs> work, work calls. Um, so anyway, pick a free bundle. If you've been thinking about the starter kit, um, if you buy the starter kit in June, you get the normal $125 of product for your ch of your choice for $99, free shipping, and then you also get to add on a bundle. And a bundle is either, you know, the, the little groupings, the stamp and die that go together, or the stamp and punch that go together, um, which can be a pretty big value up to $60 in, extra, in an extra product. So if you've been thinking about that starter kit, this is a great time to do it. Um, it's always a great time to do it, but you know, when there's more free stuff on the table, it's an even better time. And then you get your discount um, for the next, oh, I'd have to count, you, you um, June, anyway, you get it for at least three months. I can't think of where we are in the quarters, but you get a discount, okay? You get free access to the holiday catalog. Did I say free access? early access to the holiday catalog, which by the way, you guys, is coming out in August this year instead of September. So it'll go live at the beginning of August. It's gonna come up fast. So demonstrators will get to see it next month in July. Crazy. Um, but that's another perk. You get to um, see the, the new catalogs early. And you get to be a part of my team, get my PDFs for free, get my class kits at a discount. So I think it's a pretty amazing deal, if you ask me. All right, so if you haven't heard, we have a new catalog. It's awesome. Thank you, Teresa. I couldn't think. June is the last month of the quarter. <laughs> I could not think of that. I thought it was, and then I questioned myself. So you would get your discount at least through the end of July, August, September, and probably on further because you're definitely going to want to stay. Um, okay, new catalog. Here it is beautiful and we love it and it went live just this week Wednesday in case you hadn't heard so today is my first Facebook Friday featuring a new bundle from the new catalog hi Catherine good to see you um, um 
Christine, you are distracting me with your comments because I want to answer you. No, I'm just kidding. You're not distracting me. Well, you are distracting me, but in a good way. The cards behind you are on your right side. You mean over there? Sneak peek. Um, okay. See what happens when I read the comments. I cannot complete. A, I cannot do a complete sentence. Where was I? Um, new catalog. Okay. So first Facebook Friday, right? Of, um, the new catalog. <laughs> I'm so distracted by everything. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, oh, I got to tell you about this too. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, we make three projects. I pick one product usually, um, and then we make three products with it. So to projects with it. So today we're going to do Forever Fern. Okay. Um, before I well, maybe I'll flip over the camera. I'm going to flip over the camera and let you remind you about the sunflower class um, that's coming. So many beautiful sunflower projects out there. All right, close your eyes because I'm not fancy and I'm just going to do it like this. I'll tell you when to open your eyes. Um, Celebrate Sunflowers is a beautiful bundle. And... Um, Christine, don't say sorry. You're just, you're making me laugh because you, you want me to, I, I want to only talk about fun and exciting things that I haven't talked about. And so, yeah, I want to walk over there and get the cards and show you, but they're a secret. They're, they're a little, they're a little Easter egg and you saw them, um, which I wanted you to do. And, um, but they'll be coming soon. I think those are the ones you're talking about, right? The ones I pointed to, they're coming. I was working on those today and they are, they are cute. All right. I think we are situated. If you haven't opened your eyes, Christine, I hope I didn't make you feel bad. Of course, I want you to talk to me during this. I just am like a AD, ADD. I can't focus. And then I'll be here for five years. Okay. Focus, Erica. Celebrate Sunflower is my class to go this month. I only have one class to go this month. So this is it. Celebrate Sunflowers. It features this bundle, which we all love and adore, right? Um, and there are eight projects in here. Gorgeous. You can register for this class to go kit through June 21st. They will ship out around the 28th. Um, when I do a class to go, you guys, I don't cut them until cl the, the registration has closed. That way I only have to cut one time. Otherwise I'd be cutting for class kits every single day because people register every single day. Um, and I don't want to cut ahead of time because I don't know how many people will want them. So as soon as they close on the 21st, I put in my final order, I start cutting, packing, prepping, and by the 28th, everything is going out. Priority mail takes about two days to get to, two to three days in normal non-quarantine time, as we know. Um, but anyway, this is the class that'll be coming to you. It's um, eight cards and it includes a lot of product. It includes these um, beautiful memory and more cards, memories and more cards, which are $11. And if you buy, there's several options. You can buy this class kit with a bundle. And if you get the class with the bundle, then you're actually getting these for free, all right? FedEx is here. Darn it, man. They know when I go live. I swear they know it. Okay, Charlie's asleep. Let's see if he, if I keep talking, he won't hear the guy. He can usually hear the truck, but he's sound asleep. Okay, so option two does not include the bundle. You can get everything here plus the PDF. And option three is PDF only if you just want the um, tutorials. I have those for sale in my PDF store, and those are an immediate download or immediately emailed to you. Um, you guys, if you ever buy a PDF from me and it doesn't show up, don't think that I'm ignoring you. Those are on an automated system and they get emailed automatically. Like I, I pay this website to email them out so that I don't have to do it every, you know, like every five minutes. It's awesome, except when it doesn't arrive. Um, so please know if the PDF never arrives, it either is in your spam folder or it's bouncing around somewhere out in cyberspace, who knows, um, just email me, let me know, and I will resend it, okay? Just please know that I, I would never ignore your order, okay? All right, so there's that. Oh, the fourth option is for my uh, first level downline. They can get the whole kit, including this, for $22. Okay, registration deadline, June 21st. We still have some time, right? It's only June 6th today. You guys, you know what I was thinking today? Um, 
So today's the first official day of summer vacation for my kids. Yesterday should have been the last day of school. However, you know, we've been out of school since the beginning of March. So I was thinking, okay, today starts summer 2.0. <laughs> because we've already had two and a half months of no school. So it was like we had a whole summer. And now we're going to have a whole summer again. Crazy. Just crazy times. Um, okay. Oh, now the FedEx man is leaving his truck running in front of my house and delivering packages on the other side of the street. Doesn't he know I have a schnauzer that will bark? Okay, so today's for Facebook Friday. If you haven't joined me, you can um, get the make and takes for free. This is what they look like when they come to you. Um, I package them up. You get everything that you need in here except for the stamps and the ink. You'll need stamps, ink, and adhesive, right? Um, and then you get a little cute thank you tag. I'm pretty proud of this last week's thank you tags. I spent a lot of time coloring them and they're so cute. But everything that you need is in here to make um, the projects. So uh, with that being said, this week one of the projects uses that gold hoop. And I only have two boxes of gold hoops because they're on back order until the end of June. So I will try to, I will give away the rest of my gold hoops to whoever orders until I run out. And then you might get a make and take package without a gold hoop. So if you like the gold hoops and you get the, my make and take package, you want to add those gold hoops to your next order. Okay. They'll be in, um, it says June 29th, the week of June 29th. So not too far, not, not too bad. Sometimes things go in back order and it's like three months later. Nope, not this time. Okay, prizes from last week. Tracy Horton, thank you for sharing my video. You're getting cuckoo for you. And Karen Christensen, you're getting ride with me. Congratulations, ladies. I believe I have both of your mailing addresses. Unless it's changed, let me know. I'll wait till Monday to hear from you. If not, I will drop them in the mail to you next week. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, this week, I have brand new stamp sets, mini mates, and jar of flowers. Everybody loves jar of flowers. Um, that's actually the cards that Christine was talking about over my shoulder. And I have been racking my brain thinking of all kinds of fun, exciting things to go in the jars, in the shakers. So you're going to want to you're gonna love it. It's gonna one of the projects is so cute. It it I can hardly stand it. I can hardly wait to show you. Um, but if you would like to be the winner of one of these, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook. And next week, when we do Facebook Friday, I will pick two random winners to win. All right, that's it. Let me get a drink real quick. And let's stamp. I think I did everything. All right. So this week is kind of an interesting mix. Like I said, and I meant to grab those. Let's see if I have them over here. Like I told you guys last week, I have made a ton of cards with Forever Fern. Let me just grab them. Um, and I had a hard time narrowing it down, which three to do. Um, so these are the three, and I'll tell you why I love each one when we make them. Um, also over there on P at pinkbuckaroo.com is my PDF. Um, it has all three projects and it has everything that you need. The, um, what am I trying to say? Measurements down here. Here's the host code. I don't think I finished my thought a minute ago. Those make and take packets, all you have to do is put in an order by midnight on Monday to get those for free. Um, to get them for free, your order must be over $35, pre-tax and shipping, and use the host code unless your order is over $150. Don't use the host code because remember I was just telling you about stamp and rewards and I want you to get those stamp and rewards. If you put in a big order um, this weekend and I see it and I'll know that you want these anyway or these and I'll send them to you. So, so don't use a host code if your order is over $150, okay? Because you'll get free stuff. And all the things that I just talked to you about are here in the PDF. Pinkbuckaroo.com, under the last photo, you'll find the link for this PDF. All right, let me um, move this now that I've moved my camera a little bit so I can see all your comments. Okay, so here are some cards. I think I've showed you these um, on Wednesday. Here are some of the cards that I have made um, with the Forever Fern. This is a case from the catalog. Isn't that cute? They, the die, and I, I didn't even point this out. Um, the dies, not only they cut out the stamps, but look on this DSP, it will cut out those, um, 
those leaves too. This one, this one, this stamp is from um, Tasteful Textures. I always call it the wrong thing. You guys know what stamp set I'm talking about. <laughs> the the texture, taste, tex touches of texture, whatever, that one. But these are those dies. You can see the thing about these dies, what I really think, and not just the dies, but the stamps, is that we'll, even if you're not using just Forever Fern, sometimes you need a little sprig of something for a project, and this is great for that. Um, and I was thinking just earlier today how beautiful this will be in fall colors um, when we get to the fall, um, cutting these out in the, you know, fall colors and putting them with pumpkins and things. That'll be really, really pretty, I think. Um, like dried florals almost. I don't know. I just thought that'd be neat. And then there's that one. And if you remember two weeks ago when I did music from the heart, um, this is a case of one of those cards, the one with the guitar. I just cased myself again and you can I mean it looks totally different than that card so I wonder if I have that sitting here so I could show you I do not I have this huge stack of cards right here is Denise watching Denise are you ready to package more cards I have a ton here it is right here see sometimes when I can't think of a project or I need some inspiration I go back and look at my stuff what card did I make that I liked and then I will case it. So you can see it's very similar, but also very different. So, so you know, if you ever feel like, well, oh, I don't know what to make, I don't know where to start, go back and look at some of your old things that you've made that you liked. All right, Kathy says they need to have a lot of gold hoops in stock. Kathy, amen, my friend. Um, and I was like, those are kind of weird when I first saw them. I was like, that's weird. But I love them. I love, love, love them. So I agree. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> um, I want to point out, I was going to show you in the catalog, now that I can finally show you the catalog. Here is the Forever Greenery Suite, um, page 108 and 109. Um, don't be afraid to um, get out of the greens. Um, we are doing two cards in green, but then you can see this one I did in a different color scheme. And when you do that, it changes the colors a lot. Um, where's that? There's that other card that I cased too. So remember, this is an, an idea book as well. And if you go to the back, um, I, I I love how they've just been putting lots of samples in the um, catalog. Here's back in the back in the, the die cut area on page 175. Here are the forever flourishing dies. And look, here's another sample in different colors. Look at that. Gorgeous. And remember, if you're gonna buy a bundle, make sure you're getting the bundle number, okay? Because you save 10%. And I pointed this out the other day, I don't know if you guys watched that video, but the bundles numbers are kind of hard to see, like it's little right there. I would, you know, my eye goes right here. So if you're buying the stamps with the dies and you wanna save 10%, make sure you look for that bundle number. Okie dokie. All right, let's get started. This first, this first card actually, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the catalog. I actually cased it from the catalog, this card right here. Isn't that beautiful? But I changed it some also because I wanted to use um, the new Misty Moonlight, which I now know how, I now know the name, I think. Um, so it's Misty Moonlight, the color, um, the colors are gorgeous, look. Misty Moonlight, Seaside Spray. Whoever told me that color combination that very first time when we were talking about the in colors, it's become my favorite combo with Petal Pink. And Blushing Bright also looks really good. I actually had a hard time deciding Blushing Bright or Petal Pink, but um, that's really pretty. And I was thinking, you guys love those color challenges that I posted. Um, Stampin' Up! hasn't done those color challenges color challenges in a while. So I was thinking maybe we should do one this week um, with this color combo because it's very pretty. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do, if I can get this stuff off the tray, and we're gonna use this stamp and seal. I've used it a bunch in the last 24 hours, and I have to say, two thumbs up. It feels good in your hand. I don't know if anybody else expedited their order. Um, 
But if you already have your adhesive, tell us what you think. I just really like the way it feels and it runs really smooth. And it hasn't gotten backed up in there. You know, it hasn't um, gotten off track or anything. It's, it's, it's good. And someone asked me um, on Facebook today uh, what I thought about stamp, stamp and, the Stamp and Seal Plus. And you know what's funny? Because Stamp and Seal Plus really is for des, uh, design, I, well, I, I'm assuming, designed to replace the Fast Fuse, which you guys know I loved Fast Fuse. Um, I haven't used it that much because this is good. This is really, really good. Um, so what I'm thinking is that I will probably just reserve Stamp and Seal Plus for 3D projects and, and cards and such, I'll just use regular Stamp and Seal. So, I mean, we'll have to see what it does, you know, as it goes through the mail and um, how it holds up, but it's supposed to be, it, it is strong. I showed you guys it. it is really sticky. All right, back to what we're doing. This is a piece of Misty Moonlight, two and a half by five and a half. And uh, I'm going to stamp it all over with this stamp. I just saw a comment, um, Christine Borovic, like to see a range, a reset. Um, you know what, Christine? I love that set. So it's coming. Stay tuned. All right, I love it. And that will definitely... That will definitely either be a class or a Facebook Friday. All right, so I'm gonna just stamp this. Notice how I'm turning the stamp every time because I don't want the leaves to be all the same. All right, so Misty Moonlight ink on Misty Moonlight cardstock. And it doesn't really matter which of the leaves that you use, they'll all you know, work out just fine uh, to make this kind of monochromatic, tone on tone, um, like a pattern paper. Now I'm gonna take a Stampin' Sponge and go all over the edges. This just really makes it deep and rich. Stacy, have you tried the adhesives? You like them? And Lori, you got your box today? Oh, is it calling your name like a beacon? Come stamp, come open me and play. All right, now we're gonna stamp several things here. Let's see if I can remember. Um, we're gonna do, let me look at my sample. By the way, I did make clean recordings of all three of today's projects, but this one I did a little bit differently accidentally <laughs> in the video. Okay, I'm gonna stamp this one. Oh, look, there's a dimensional stuck in there. This looks like eucalyptus. What do you guys think? Does that look like eucalyptus? I am, I have no knowledge of any of these. So you're just gonna have to put up with me, guys. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, so I stamped that in Seaside Spray on Seaside, Seaside Spray cardstock. And I'm gonna stamp the little leaves, the fern. You know, it's called Forever Fern, but I don't, I mean, th that doesn't look like a fern to me. Surely they're not all different types of ferns, are they? Um, and then we're gonna do this one in um, Petal Pink on Whisper White. We did that, Petal Pink on Petal Pink. <laughs> Lori, well good, thank you. Wow, I feel very um, honored that you chose me over your brand new box. And Fran and Renee both agreed that it looks like eucalyptus. Okay, good. It reminds me of I don't know, my mom had a lot of eucalyptus when I was a kid, dried, you know, in arrangements. All right, so let's move these so we don't have a disaster. We're gonna need that one one more time. Let's bring over the die cut machine. Now this guy we're gonna set aside and we're gonna, we're gonna emboss too. Um, we've got another piece of Misty Moonlight and we're gonna boss it, but let's do the die cutting first. I'm gonna put this down here and we're gonna do this one, the eucalyptus, right there. Um, we're also gonna do this one, no, 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 this one right here on the Misty Moonlight. And then we're gonna get these two and we're gonna do that right there. And this one right here. And 
you know what I may need another piece because I stamped those because we're gonna cut this out this is my favorite little I don't know what that is does anybody know what that is what kind of yeah I'm gonna need to get another piece for that it's um, cute <laughs> I like it it's my favorite die in the set all right so we've got all of that there's that one and that one now we've got to still do this one hey Elaine I saw your comment about it being super hot in Florida yeah it's gonna be about that time and they say it's gonna be a bad hurricane season too of course it is because you know 2020 now guys look my big shot is on its last leg I need a new one. I need a new die cut machine. So lucky for me, I'm going to put that upside down like that and we're going to run it through again. Lucky for me, we have a new die cut machine coming, don't we? Uh, yes, we do. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't know when yet the die cut, the two die cut machines will be available. The reason I turned that over is that sometimes when your dies don't cut through very well, um, it's not the die here. It's my machine. It's like lost its squeeze um, You can use a shim which is just like a piece of cardstock, you know scrap cardstock in here, but you can also turn it over and Cut it that way. I don't know why that makes a difference, but it does. Hopefully I got it lined up Yeah, I did see it cut very good that way All right and um, Shannon, there are many types of ferns. Yes, I did know that because here in South Texas, you are hard pressed to grow a fern, but there are a couple of ferns that will grow here in the shade. Um, it has to be very shady and I have to get tons of water. So I did know that there were different types, which is funny too, because they, at the nurseries, they sell all kinds of ferns here. I mean... <laughs> Maybe people are growing them inside their house because there's no way some of those ferns are grow. Oh, hello. There's no way that some of those ferns are surviving in the South Texas heat. Okay, we forgot to emboss, so let's come back. I have another piece of misty moonlight. Raining today, Elaine? Ugh, that makes it nice and steamy, huh? Okay, so now, this is the Subtles embossing folder. Um, I was hoping to use one of the new ones, but it did not come. It'll come, I guess, on Monday. It's similar, and I wanted to see how it was different. Did you guys notice it in the catalog? Let's look and see real quick. It is, I don't know where things are yet in the catalog. I went past it. I know they're right behind the dies. So we have the Subtle. Then we have, oh no, do we have that Tasteful Textures? I do, do we have that? Do we have that in pre-order? That looks very similar, maybe I didn't order it. Hmm. And then we have Old World Paper, which I do really like, and it's more, it's like a deeper texture than the Subtle. But the Subtle Embossing Folder, it makes your cardstock look like textured cardstock. If you've been around a while, you know, we used to sell textured cardstock. Um, and when I was a scrapbooker, that's what I preferred to use um, was textured cardstock, but we don't have that anymore, but I'm sure that other places sell it. Okay, so when your adhesive is not on the roller, you know, like they, sometimes it goes back, you just wind it right there with your finger. And it, it it's just really, it feels good. It's very, um, I don't know, it was designed well for the hand. sounds nice too <laughs> if there is such a thing all right so I've layered that piece and I put the subtle embossed piece there now for our hoop we used the this um, Wednesday as well and I used um, Tombow around it but what I I realized I did on this card I didn't adhere it at all I just used dimensionals over here and it doesn't really flap around like you would think so I think just sticking a couple of dimensionals here is enough to hold it. Because you know our dimensionals are very strong. 
Oh, I forgot to stamp this. Okay, I wanted to add some texture to this one. So I'm taking one of the Misty Moonlight, one of the ferns and stamping it in Misty Moonlight. I'm gonna stamp it off and then stamp it on there so that it gives it just a little bit more texture. See that? Just a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna put that there. And this one, I'm gonna snip off the stem and I think I probably will put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this one. Okay, there we go with that. Now this one will need a dimensional. Guys, the, the foam sheets, which we're gonna use in a minute, <laughs> look very much like regular dimensionals. On the back, it looks like a regular sheet of dimensionals. Okay, so then the eucalyptus and the petal pink fern leaf foliage stem. Oops, hello. There we go. Oh, Eileen, you did good. Congratulations, welcome. I will send you an email later today. She said she just bought the starter kit. Smart lady. All right, now I folded our little, did we decide, did anybody give me suggestions of what you think this is called? Uh, I don't know, does it have a name? It's cute. I folded it in half and I'm gonna put a few glue dots there. And you know what? Look, I did it different this time too. Let's take that off, that's too much. Those two are too much, but we'll save that for a different project. <laughs> too much, I was thinking that looks like a big stack there. All right, well we might have to bring one back to cover up the dimensional. Let's see if I can get it off. There we go, okay, good enough. We'll put the bow there not to see it. Okay, now the last thing is just that gold bow. That's why I didn't have enough cardstock. I didn't need to stamp those. What did I use that for? I don't think that's on this project. I think it's on the next project. Hey, you guys, let me tell you, because you all always ask me, gold, this is the gold thread from Forever Greenery Trim. I'm folding it in half, okay? And then I'm just gonna tie it like it's one. See, and then you've got a double bow. It's a little fuller. And I'm gonna leave those little legs kind of long like that, okay? All right, there we go. And where is my take your pick tool? Here it is. Uh-oh, I just knocked my scissors off. And there you go. Okay, so pretty, right? I got to this point and I thought, well, what about the sentiment? I didn't wanna add anything else because I just love the way it looks. So we're gonna fancy it up on the inside. Sometimes I forget. You don't have to put the sentiment on the outside. You can put it on the inside. So on a piece of Whisper White, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in Misty Moonlight, stamp our eucalyptus a couple of times, stamp off, stamp off, and then open up um, Seaside Spray, stamp once right there, maybe over here, and then we'll tie in that petal pink using the little dots, the little splatter of dots. That's a good stamp. You could use that for all kinds of things. And there we go. Now it's fancy, fancy, fancy. And we're gonna put it on the inside. All right. All right, come on, Stampin' Seal. Oh, there we go. This is just a four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White. Ta-da, what do you guys think? Do you like that color combo as much as me? I love it. I really love it. And I like Petal Pink with the new Jade as well. It's pretty. Um, I thought it was on that card I showed you a little while ago, right here. See, it goes well with Misty Moonlight and just Jade. 
All right, good. Thank you for the hearts. I'm glad you guys like it. All right, let's make our next project. I am so thirsty. Lots of talking, lots of talking. All right, let me get all of this out of the way. And the next one, we're gonna stick with the greens. Let's see, make sure I keep all my stamps over here because we're gonna reuse those. Ooh, it's warm in here, you guys. In the summer, it gets so warm in here. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the fan. Let's see, if it starts to shake the camera, you guys tell me, okay? And then I'll turn it down. All right, next project is this card. And, whoops, not that card. Um, this one, and I <laughs> wanted to call this the ditch card, because it's, these pieces are elevated, creating this ditch right here where I put the DSP. But it didn't sit, I didn't think that sounded very pretty. So <laughs> we're gonna do that. Um, I've straddled the little label over the ditch, creating some dimension, which is, which is fun. All right, and the paper is the paper that goes with that suite of products. Um, I wanna make sure you guys, the camera isn't shaking. There's a delay, it does, it is shaking, isn't it? Yeah, okay, let me turn it down. I wish you guys could see Pepper. She's in her bed, completely upside down. Sound asleep. She chewed up my rug yesterday. She's reached that stage. Okay, now, where did the pieces go? You know, earlier today when I made this card, I lost the two little pieces and so I pulled them from this project so I have a feeling I've got one is that the right size hold on please hold while I make sure I have the right pieces nope I'm gonna have to cut another one five and a fourth by one and five and a fourth by one and three fourths. These measurements are over on the PDF, remember, right there? No, she's not snoring, Donna, but she has made some weird, she does this really weird, um, it almost sounds like a pig sound a lot. And I wonder if she has allergies or something, but yesterday she was doing that in her sleep. I don't know, but no, not snoring yet. Um, Sometimes she does like she's dreaming, you know, like she's running in her dreams and she's making little sounds. It's so cute. All right, so we've got these two pieces. What I did is I took a piece five and a fourth, no, no, yeah, five and a fourth by four piece of just jade and I cut off one side one and a half, one and three fourths and the other side uh, one inch, okay? All right, so we're gonna stamp this fern or whatever the stem all over just jade ink on just jade cardstock and we can do them at the same time if we do like this um this is one of our new ink colors it's beautiful it's on the turquoisey side of green and it's bright and fresh and springy all right, right there, I gotta add a few more, like that. Okay, so tone on tone, move that over. Now, you're gonna kind of eyeball it, look and see where you're gonna put these. You're gonna leave a quarter inch um, border all the way around. Actually, yeah, yeah, a quarter inch. Or is that, does that come? Yeah, it comes to a quarter inch, right? And we're gonna put this down here. So just kind of set your finger there so you know where to put your adhesive right down there and we're going to put that this is um forever greenery no yes forever greenery dsp and um it's all those greens um it, you know they took all of our greens and put them together and you would think oh that's not going to work but it does it's really pretty okay now i told you guys we would use these foam sheets today these are foam adhesive sheets and they're very similar to dimensionals so you can see like it looks like a dimensional on the back right um, I've actually cut some off of here so it's a little bit bigger and it's 
the same thick. Mm, well, I say it's the th same thickness, but I think it's a hair fatter, just a hair fatter. We're gonna we're gonna pop these up like this, creating that ditch there in the middle. And normally I would do dimensional, 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 like you know, like, and then you'd have to peel them all off. But if you have this, you could just cut some strips like this and just put that like that. You could even, on the video I did earlier, I cut it in half, put one at the top, one at the bottom. And then it's just one peel off. We have those foam adhesive strips that are great for making shaker cards, but I feel like they're a little too thick to use on my card um, in place of a dimensional. So these, that's too short. DSP is a little bit too long. All right, so pretty cool, right? Laura, I was the same way. I thought this set was just meh, but it's very, very useful and very versatile. And as we move into fall, I think we'll be using it quite a bit as well. Okay, so see how we created just kind of a ditch there? And I use those foam adhesive sheets as one big dimensional, as if dimensionals couldn't get any better. <laughs> okay, now I have already cut out the label. This is from these uh, Tasteful Labels dies, and it's that one. And we're gonna stamp, this is for the inside. We're gonna stamp, let's move all of this. I don't think I need this right now. We're gonna stamp this in, we'll do just Jade on Whisper White, okay? And then we're gonna cut out, let's see, where, where are my dies? This one matches this. Hey, uh, Patty, I see Patty's watching. I don't know if she's listening. But I just have to tell you, Patty, that I cased your cute little idea. You know the one I'm talking about. I need to um, message it to you. It's, it's a surprise, and I don't want to say what it is, so don't say it. But it's very, very cute. Okay, we've got that. We've got, and this is the other dye that I like. Like a little spray of ferns. All right, I've got, now I've got trash everywhere. So let's bring back over. Hey, you guys, these slick papers are not recyclable, right? I don't think they're like waxy. They're not recyclable. I mean, I'm assuming. I recycle all my scraps. I have a recycle box. Because Lord knows I have a ton. But I think things like that, like label sheets, are not recyclable. Which is a bummer. Because I just want to sweep it all together into the recycle bin. All right, clear plate. Oh, Patty, good. So you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take a picture and send it to you in a little while. It's so cute. Thank you for the idea. Patty is um a very out-of-the-box thinker. She's on my team. She's on my downline, and she is a very out-of-the-box thinker creative, creatively. And I'm always inspired by the things that she posts. Okay, now... Clear plate, clear plate, come on, focus Erica. I can't talk and do anything else apparently at the same time. All right, I think that's the last time I need that guy so I can move him out of the way. Hopefully everything cut well. I probably should have run it through back and forth. My big shot is five years old and I mean, it has seen some miles, let me tell you. I have several big shots that I've used for events and stuff, but they all, they all have been around the block many, 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 many times. Um, and I, I desperately am needing a new machine. So I hope our new machine comes out sooner rather than later for sure. Okay, so we've got this little label here that we cut and we're gonna start with, no, we'll start flat. All right, so the new stamp and seal, we're just gonna do a little bit of boom right there, a little boom, and then we'll do that. And then that is, I didn't tell you the colors, shaded spruce is that one. Here's a test, can Erica remember the colors? We stamped that in just jade. This one is, um, do I wanna do a dimensional there? I don't think I do. This one is soft 
sea foam. And what do you guys think this is? I'm gonna check myself. It's pretty peacock. What did I call it yesterday, Tranquil Tide? Yeah. The older I get, oops. I'm trying to do this, not how I should do this. Okay, fold, and then it has a dimensional there. I was just trying to do it fast. Okay, so we made a little arrangement, kind of like we did on the other one. This time we're gonna use the Just Jade ribbon. And this Just Jade gingham ribbon is on back order. And right, I didn't imagine that. It's on back order, right, you guys? Those of you that know. Um, it's part of the Flower for Every Season ribbon and trim pack. And it's gingham. And so you know I love it. I love, love, love it. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for joining me today. All right, so we'll just put that right there. All right, now notice I haven't I haven't stamped my sentiment because I wanted to see where where my foliage is um, before I stamped. Yeah, it's on back order, Christine. Yeah. All right, so let me get this straight, and we'll stamp that right there. And I did that in old olive because that's one of those colors in the color scheme here, the all the greens. And then two dimensionals to straddle the ditch. <laughs> that just doesn't sound right on a card, but there you go. Now wait, but wait, there's more. Just like 2020, have you, have you guys seen that meme? 2020 is like the sham wow guy that says, but wait, there's more. There's more insanity coming your way. Ugh. I have never not liked a year, but boy, 2020, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Today, um, so our neighborhood pool, he here in Texas, we're on stage two reopening. Well, we just, we just got to stage three. And our neighborhood pool was supposed to open in stage two at 50% capacity. So our neighborhood pool, um, doesn't have lifeguards. You know, it's one of those you just go on your own. And uh, it, um, our little neighborhood association now is just, just switched over to homeowner run. And the homeowners have decided not to open our pool because they think they're going to get sued if somebody gets the virus at the pool this summer. So it's supposed to be 105 on Tuesday and we can't swim the pool that we paid for and our neighborhood association dues. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, at least we have beautiful cards, right? <laughs> um, so there you go, Just Jade uh, Forever Fern and uh, that the beautiful uh, Forever Greenery paper. I hope you guys like that. Um, so remember, you can do the greens or you can do the blues or you can do the reds or the pinks or the oranges or whatever. You don't have to stick with traditional colors. Yep, Kathy, Pete's sake. That's pretty much what I have said, probably in not so nice of words. Um, Donna, yeah, you know, a lot of, um, I'm hearing a lot of HOAs have made that decision. Ugh, ugh, just disgusted. And you know, every spring my husband and I are like, oh, we should have built a pool this year. Man, am I sorry we didn't build a pool. <sighs> we even had started talking about buying a boat because it's hot and we need something, an escape. Um, I was gonna tell you guys, there was a whole different side of that story that I was gonna tell you, but I'll tell you in a minute. Um, let's move on. All right, now the next card is feels like I'm cheating. Okay, but this is a card that is super simple that you could just make a ton of. Again, you could use any color you want um, and it's only one piece of cardstock. That's it. Um, if you'll notice on the PDF, look, four products, that's it. Uh, oh, I didn't, note five, I didn't list the Whisper White. So you're gonna need the bundle. No, you don't even need the bundle, you just need the stamps for this. Old Olive Ink, 
early espresso ink, stamp and sponge. The other thing you're gonna need is post-it tape. Now you can use post-it notes, but since I have discovered post-it tape, uh, this is what I'm using. I use this for all kinds of things here in my craft space. Um, it's really cool. It's just tape that has the stickiness of a post-it note. I put a link here on Amazon if you wanna get it. I got it. Um, I need a new one because I have actually run out and I knew we were going to do this today. I ordered it and got it next day from Amazon this week. And finally back to shipping fast. Non-essential items. Okay. So we're going to do this. Let's do it in Old Olive and just Jade. Um, I recommend you use your grid paper for two reasons. One, you're going to need to protect your surface because we're going to sponge off the sides. But also you can use the grid on the side. Um to line up your card, well, that wasn't smart, to line up your card on the sides to make sure it's straight and on the bottom. And then you just take your post-it note tape, your post-it tape, and you line it up with the lines on the side, right here and right here. And then you know your line is straight and it's gonna hold your card down, okay? Cheryl, where do you live that you're still in phase one? I know I um, my downline was telling me in Washington, um, they're still in phase one too. <sighs> I know, I know. And then I feel like what has happened in the last 10 days is gonna push us all back to phase one. I'm really worried about that. All right, so it's a stamp and sponge. Did I put my, yeah, I need those ink pads. Stamp and sponge. And I'm gonna tell you something. When I did the clean recording today, by the way, guys, clean recording is that I have pre-recorded this in a clean recording where I don't do all my jibber jabber and it'll be on YouTube this afternoon. If you want to come back and watch one of these again and you don't want to listen to all the, you know, Facebook live stuff, they're just clean recordings, just a straight tutorial. So it's there. Um, when I did mine today, here's mine today compared to the one I did last time. Do you know what the difference is? I re-inked my ink pad. <laughs> It's a little bit too dark. This one, my ink pad needed to be inked. So the moral of the story is go light, okay? Go light. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, stamp and sponge. We're gonna do circles like this. If you set your sponge down right on the paper, you're gonna get like a dark um, splotch. So I like to start over on the white like that, okay? So start over and just move across. This is a stamp and sponge. See how that left a pretty dark mark there. This is a stamp and sponge that I have cut into like a pizza, you know, little little slivers. And as you're thinking about this, as you're watching, think about all the different colors you could do, all the different stamps you could use to just do this simple layout. Um, it really is simple. The other thing you can do is when you're done, pick up your tape, move it down, set it across there and do a different color. You can overlap colors. You can do all kinds of things. Okay. Really, really, really. You like it better, Terry? Hi, Terry. You like it better, the darker or you like it lighter? I like it lighter. I think that's enough right there. All right, let's peel that tape off. Post-it tape, you guys. It's pretty awesome. Oh, here's the other thing. You're going to have ink on your hands. So wipe them on your yoga pants <laughs> or go wash your hands. All right, there we go. It looks like maybe mine was a little bit fatter too. Did I do a little bit wider? Just a tiny bit. And there you go. Okay. So now we're going to take this stamp, whatever that one is called, and we're just going to go once we're going to turn it, go twice, turn it, and a third time. Then we'll get that. Do I need to clean that? I think that'll be okay. That's just jade. No, nah, I better clean it. Where did my chamois go? Okay. Oh, right here. Um, and then I just got these little, you know, the splatters and did just a few like that. Now this would be cute, think Christmas. What what Christmas stamps could you do? You know, you could do like Christmas trees like that. Or Valentine's, you could do hearts. Um, you could do flowers, you could do anything, right? So simple, one piece of cardstock, which is not my typical style. You guys know I like 100 layers. 
but I really like this. I was watching, um, I took an online course, different techniques, and this was one of them. And I had done this many years ago and I forgot and I love it. It's kind of magical. All right, you can do this. Now my, I like to stamp, especially when it's a one layer, pre-stamp over here to see if I'm crooked. Cause sometimes I do, it's hard to tell you know, you gotta maybe go down a little bit on that side or up or whatever. So I like to pre-stamp over there to look at it. And there you go. You could take a few sequins or rhinestones or something and put a few sprinkles in there. Or you could just leave it. And you know what else we could do? I didn't do this earlier. Take your leaf and just do one little bump on the inside. One layer card. Boom. It's pretty. Okay, let's do another one. This time, I'm gonna take my post-it tape and let me get my card straight. I sound like someone's in my driveway, I guess not. Oh, it's across the street. Um, and I'm gonna go from that corner down here. Now, this time you're not gonna really be able to, um, you know, like, I mean, I guess you could count how many down, but I just eyeball the diagonal. Um, Jen, it's the same set that it's the Forever Fern. Those little splatters right there, Forever Fern. It's the only stamp set I've used. Okay, so there we go. Now let's do Just Jade. Same deal. Start over here and work your way down. And don't make it too dark. One more, one more pass like that. You could use your, your brayer too, you guys. I forget about the brayer. Okay. Wipe my hands off on my yoga pants. Yoga pants make a great, you know, <laughs> stamp cleaner because you can't see it. If they're black, they have to be black. That's disgusting, Erica. That's just disgusting. It's quarantine life. All right. Now, We'll do like that. Ooh, that's pretty. And like that. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like that. Okay. Then let's get the splatters. Let's clean them. And do some just jade. Little bump, 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 bump. You have to make that sound too. Ta-da. That's it except for the sentiment. Oh, and let's do this inside. Just a little something, something. This time I'm gonna use, hello, the one that we used last time. Okay, right there. Hello, done. Is Terry still watching? Terry, what do you think? A card with no layers. Terry likes layers too. She makes beautiful cards. She's my longest downline. She's been on my team more longer than anybody else. And she's a beautiful stamper. All right. What do you guys think? Fun? Just think of the possibilities. <laughs> Darcy, you need it. You need it. Don't fight it. I'm telling you, you're going to see a billion samples online because it's awesome. And you're going to see me use it in the fall. This guy's going to be orange and he's going to be stuck behind a pumpkin. And the little eucalyptus is going to be espresso and he's going to be there too. So you need it. I mean, I, I fought it too. I didn't think I wanted it. I didn't see what the big deal was, but I like it. All right. Well, good. I hope I've convinced you that you need it. Look, here's these weird guys that I stamped. That's so weird that I did that. Um, and here we go. There we are. I hope you guys like today's projects. Um, remember, if you want the make and takes for free, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight, shopwitherica.com. You can click it on my blog um, or stampinup.com works too. Just use that host code on the shopping cart page. You'll see down at the bottom left, there's a place to put in the host code. Um, you can copy and paste it from today's blog post over there. And all the orders by Monday at midnight will get the three projects for free next week. I'll send them to you in the mail. 
All right, you guys, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, the rest of my story, all I was going to tell you guys is because our pool is closed. I decided to buy SeaWorld season passes for my kids. Um, I hate going to the amusement park, but they have a great water park. And they just announced that they were going to open at 50% capacity. So, okay, that'll make it better, right? Because it's not a ton of people. So I bought the season passes this morning when they opened up the scheduling. Because you have to schedule. You have to, like, sign up to go at, at, on a certain date. I couldn't get... I couldn't get a day. Nothing. Everything kept glitching. It was full. It wouldn't work. <sighs> I think we're destined to just be hot this summer. I don't know. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope that you are not as hot as we are down here in South Texas. <laughs> and I hope that you are getting out of your house. And I hope that you're stamping too, okay? You guys have a great weekend. I will be back next Thursday for sure at 2 o'clock. Th did I say Thursday? Next Friday at two o'clock central. I haven't decided, but I think it's going to be the zebra next week. I haven't decided, but I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Zany zebra. All right. Don, I agree. All right. I will see you guys. Denise, you got to blow up pool. I have thought about it. The today show, they even showed blow up pools for adults. That may be what we do. You guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.